there are lots of kinds of forces in nature. Um, we're going to deal with uh, a few important ones in this class. So here's a summary of, of the types. Um, and let's do it this way. Let's talk about um, what they're called. Um, and what we know about them. And what we might know about them is we might know the magnitude. Magnitude. And we might know the direction. And so one of the types of forces, and I'm not going to write this one down, is the force that I might apply. So if I'm pushing something across the floor, of course, I can make up my mind. I can push really hard. I can then back off. I can change direction, move it over here, pull it towards me, push it back. You know, we don't, unless you're in my head, you don't really know what that force is going to be like. So I'm talking more about the forces where we actually do know something about them um, just because of the nature of the force. So we've already talked about... Um, one of these, we talked about gravity. Um, and we know that the magnitude of the force is uh, mass times the acceleration of an object under gravity if there were no other forces on it. So we didn't say that before, right? We just talked about acceleration. But now knowing forces, if gravity is the only force, we can measure its acceleration and know then that the force must be on that object was the mass of the object times g, and we know that it is always downward. One of the other kinds of forces that we'll talk about is um, called a tension force. Um, and this is like a rope, a rope force. So what can a rope do? Well, a rope can pull, and, um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, a rope can't, like, move you to the side or push you. I mean... That's a stick, right? So a rope, all a rope can do is pull. So we know that it's always um, pulling along the rope. That's pretty much all it can do. Um, and its magnitude, well, the magnitude is until the rope breaks, which is an engineering problem. So in physics, they don't break. Also in physics, you'll read about a massless rope, and that means that the tension is the same all along. So the tension is whatever it needs to be but it's um, uniform all along the length. Okay. We're also going to talk about surface forces, and they have the funny name normal forces, and it's a little unfortunate, so surface. Like if you're sitting down right now, it's the force that your chair is exerting on your rear end. Um, if you're standing, it's the force that the floor is exerting on your feet. And if you think there isn't a force there, try standing on a hard floor all day, and I guarantee you, your feet will let you know that there was a force there. It's called the normal force. I think that word in modern English has gotten its meaning of meaning um, like average, you know, that kind of normal, um, you know, sort of a regular expected sort of meaning. That's not what it means here. Normal in this course, in this case, means perpendicular. Perpendicular. Away from the surface. Right? It never never pulls down towards the surface unless it's like sticky or something, but that's an entirely different force. So, again, what is its magnitude? Well, until the chair that you're sitting in breaks or something like that, it's, again, whatever it needs to be. Whoop, needs to be. So these are the kinds of forces that are sometimes called reaction forces, right? I mean, a chair sitting all by itself isn't exerting a force on anyone, and a rope sitting all by itself isn't pulling on anyone. However, once there's other things at play, then they respond. And finally, we're going to talk about friction. Um, stay tuned for um, the magnitude. But for its direction, we know that the direction is going to be against the direction of motion 
or the direction the motion would be if the friction were to fail, and it's along the surface. that it's providing the friction. And that pretty much covers it. Those are the forces that we will talk about. Oh, there are so many more. Uh, if you stay with us for many years of physics, we will cover them all. But uh, these are the ones we're going to talk about.